Hey, hey, we welcome back. Welcome back. We're doing a couple of quick little card sessions just to get us going for the day. Got a whole bunch of stuff I'll be doing today. So my ability and, and time to just push these messages out, not going to be there. But I did want to make sure you had something very early in the day to start us off. So we just did a mindful message. Go and check that one out in just a few minutes. You know, if you haven't seen it, go look at it. And uh, we've got plenty of more content up there, y'all. And messages from all over the place so uh feel free to just peruse the portfolio and check a couple of those videos out this is your first time coming stick around to the end and if you like the, what i'm bringing please subscribe i don't like to ask you to do it up front i want you to decide after you hear what we've got to say and what we got to deliver so if you do like it like click subscribe click that notification bell uh hit the thumbs up and then uh subscribe too so you can know the next time we put something up there for you guys for your edification and your your, your support we we need to see these tears in our field so we'll know what adjustments to make so we can you know move up to our highest potential because you the wheat and you call it for good bread yes yes you are so let's get into it oh i like it already i like it you see me shuffle one come out I held it. We've been talking. Welcome you in. Come on in. Spirit says this, y'all. Hey, love. I like it. I love it. I love it. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Now, guess what? I have a practice of seeing the God in all things. Yeah, yeah, dude. That for me is a very good thing. Yeah. If I look at everything like it has God in it, because I mean, again, I go back to basic fundamental truths. Not everybody believes in what I say in the way that I say it. I mean, it's all, you know, to each his own, right? What resonates will resonate, what doesn't, what doesn't. You take what you need, you leave what you don't, you know? It's no big thing, you know, how we do this here. But at the end of the day, there's certain things that we know just are true. We know all this here came from somewhere. And we know that everything is made from the same stuff. And if it all came from the same place, then everything must be of the same thing. That's just what my mind tells me. Spirit says everything belongs to the source. Everything comes from the beginning, that alpha, right? That logos, the beginning, the source standpoint. Now, people call it whatever they want. I don't put no label on it because, you know, it's the source, the logos, yes. So if I look at everything as what it truly is, a part or a piece or an expression of the logos of the source of the most high God, that which created all things, oh yeah, then I'm gonna treat everything like it's God. If I treat everything like it's God, then I'm gonna treat everything with love. I'm gonna apply some understanding and some empathy and some compassion to that thing. I might not totally get all of it so i got to keep understanding and some stuff you just learn to let go you chop it up to the mysteries of the source like it I, it had to be and then you can see like well maybe did it push me into something better did i develop did i grow you know all this good stuff and then if you see that yeah i did i became better i became stronger i became faster i made some adjustments that made me smarter more nimble more flexible and all this good stuff then you can say it's for the good oh yeah it's for the good it's pretty good. And, and, and yeah. Is there anything else to say on that? No. Pretty much. Pretty much that. It's all to the good. When you can see every God and everything and how that stuff works out for your good at the end of the day. Oh, yeah. You count it to the good. You do. You, do. you at least get to the, a point where it's par. You know, you may still have things where you be like, that was really shitty. And, you know, I really, you know, didn't want you know, that to happen. But is it this one? This one? Yeah, okay doubt i release the need to know all the answers go ahead on and i say that thing you know i release the need to know all the answers if i'm engulfed in the love of the most high knowing that the provisions are there for me that i can either persevere and make it through digging to that tenacity because i just went through something that just really caused for me to have to pull that stuff out right um or uh i'm being given inspiration and motivation and uh like that inkling to just do something that creative 
ness and i don't i don't need to know all the answers the steps to get there like the source to get me there we're gonna quantum leak this thing i keep it in my mind here and i'm going over there and i'm just keep my mind from focused on that on that thing right there you know that's what we're gonna do and i'm not gonna let the opposition come against me and tell me who i am Oh, no, we, we're not going to conform. We're going to take off these layers of conformity of people and things and experiences telling you who you are. You're not that. You're not your past. You're not your experiences. You're not that story. Right. Who are you? We're going to go back to where my favorite piece of scripture is uh, Genesis 26. When God say uh, Genesis 1 and 26, let's make sure we make that plain. 1 and 26. Page 1. Chapter 1, verse 26 says, let us make man in our image. Yes, that's my verse. Who was talking? The spirits of the Lord. Yes, yes. Spirits of joy and intellect and might. Read them. You know, go find them. It'll tell you what you're made out of. Right? So when I realized what the, the stuff that I was made out of, baby, let me tell you, did it not do something do, you mean I don't have to wait to call this stuff in? You, you mean to tell me like I've been waiting on source to send my joy all this time? I've been praying for joy. Lord, just send the joy back. Bring me my joy. Bring me my joy. Send me my joy. And most high, like, baby, did you not know? I'm a girl. I'm, I'm, I, I identify as a female. Like, I'm full feet like me. I'm feminine. Like, that is. That's my thing. I can get in there. I can get in the mud too. Now quit playing. Don't act like I can I can get in the mud and I get my hands dirty. Yes, I do. But anyway, Spirit said, Don't you know that you a whole Powerpuff girl? I don't know if y'all remember that series. My, you know, spice and everything nice and mixed the stuff in there and made these Powerpuff girls. Yeah. I, I was mixed up with the spirit of joy. I was mixed up with the spirit of Mike. You know what I mean? Like he put these things in there and that's how he made me. Like that's my composite. I'm composed of these hit things. So I don't have to wait for the Lord to send me none of that. I don't wait for him to send me my joy. It's made with joy. Now am I activating my joy? That's a question. Ha. You know? So, uh, yeah. Am I looking for creativity? Lord, send me some ideas. Oh, well, I believe they already in there. I believe I was built with an infinity of possibilities up in here. But am I tapped in to that thing? Am I locked in? Did I open it up? Or is it wrapped up and bound up with all this other stuff that the world that threw on top of me and is smothering all of that goodness I was made with? You know, take off the layers of conformity. Unwrap them sheets. Unbound yourself with that eight of sword energy. Everything you need was built in on the inside. Yeah. That gut. You got it. You got it. It's in there. You were made from this stuff. Go check your ingredient label. I'm telling you, it's on Genesis page 1 and 20, chapter 1 and 26. But you don't know when they say, let us, right? It's 25, 26, 27. I'm pretty sure it's 26. Let's check it out because I'm calling it. I need to make sure we show. It's right here. Oh, yeah. You don't see this here stack of books? We play. We don't play with this thing. We don't play with this thing. But it's most I said, seek diligently. That's what we do. Diligent about this thing. Let's see. What I tell y'all, Genesis 1, 26. Let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over the earth, over the earth. Is the earth waiting on you to wake up? Yes, it is, because you have dominion over it. It's waiting on you to step into your power, waiting on you to activate, activate. It's already in here. You was made from that stuff. Don't you let nobody tell you you wasn't. Don't you let nobody tell you who you are. You got that on the inside of you. You activate it. Make space. Make room. Unbound yourself. Release them chains. Release them chains. Release the chains, people. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love you just like I love me. Study them ingredients and see what you was made out of. I'm telling y'all. Our image, the spirits of the Lord, 
Look up the spirits of the Lord and see what you were made from. When you see your ingredient list, baby, you go ahead on and be like, I got that. I'm praying for these things. And you mean to tell me I got them all along? Yes, you do. You praying for stuff you already got. You know how your mama be like, I'm not bad. You another one of those things. Did you go in there and use the stuff you got? Because, baby, you already got it. You got to activate it. You got to give it some room. Take all that stuff off the top of it. And let it uh, flex his wings up in there. Told you. Joy and bitterness and resentment don't live in the same space, baby. You got to clear them out. Resentment, need, it, it, it can't have no space up in there with joy. You got to get that out. Joy needs its own room. Putting all these people in their room. making they, they sitting up here bunking with 15 folks. They need to get that stuff out of there. You got to move bitterness and resentment and jealousy and envy out and bring and just let joy have its way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. I love you just like I love me. This is your girl, Lottie, here at Tears and Weed Tarot. Well, we look at these tears in our lives and see what they project back to us so that we can make these adjustments, be edified so that we can be good bread. Because we're the wheat, baby. And we were called for good bread. I love y'all. Until next time, I shake.